mean, it's been uh, it's been good. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, you, you never want to start your summer that early, but uh, the break's been good. I got the chance to kind of get my mind a little bit out of, off of hockey. Uh, I went to uh, France for a week, and uh, we did. Uh, me and my girlfriend did the, the Bordeaux thing, like with the wine tasting and everything, and visiting some vineyards. So that was pretty good. Because uh, I'm a big wine uh, wine fan, so uh, that was pretty neat for me to see. And then uh, when we were in Paris, we just walked around. It was just uh, just a fun time. And uh, since I uh, got back home, not a whole lot. I started working out about a couple weeks ago and uh, trying to get back on the train there. Uh, but right now, everything's in the gym and uh, nothing on the ice. I don't think I'm going to skate till probably mid-July or... Uh, but uh, right now it's about four or five times a week I go in the gym with a personal trainer and uh, trying to get, uh, get get ready for next year. So right now it's still uh, trying to get back into it, get your body moving again after that long break. But uh, every week it picks up a little bit of intensity and then it should be good. Well, uh, to be honest, I didn't watch it a whole lot. <laughs> I watch the last game, uh, like the, when, when, the, when Chicago won the Cup, uh, but uh, there were two good teams, and one was, from what I saw, was pretty good series. They're like pretty intense, and uh, I guess, I, what I liked about it too is the fans. Uh, both, both crowds were great, and uh, they really got into it. And two, two pretty good hockey teams. So that was uh, from, what, from what I saw. That was uh, that was fun. Yeah, well, it was, uh, you know, it was fun and kind of nerve-wracking at the same time, I remember, like, because you don't know where you're going, and, uh, like, the, when we got in, I remember doing, the, like, the Friday, the day before the draft, like, the first round, the best prospect things, uh, uh, I guess they presented us to the media, and he, that's the first time we got had time to meet a whole bunch of the guys, so that was kind of cool, and then... Uh, I remember too down there, like meeting the like four or five teams that uh, had more a little more chance of picking me. Like Columbus, uh, I remember seeing Chicago and the, the New York Rangers a lot. Uh, and then, uh, but you don't know. You try to get scoops from your your agent and try to know where you're gonna figure it out. Even the same morning when we got to the ring, it was the same thing. But uh, but when you finally uh, hear your name, it's pretty uh, pretty special moment with it, especially sharing that with your family and that because uh, you work all your life to, to, to get there and then it's kind of the first official step uh, towards the NHL is getting drafted and it's uh, when you like for, for us for the guys who have the chance to get picked up in the first round just go and get that jersey on, on the stage uh, it was pretty special uh, but, but what happened when we was kind of funny like the Columbus picked uh, like their pick was right after a TV break and, and during the TV break uh, all the cameras I guess like the, the TV knows who's going to get picked before the players and then uh, actually there was a couple like uh, cameras that came right in front of me like where I was sitting and I knew that like Columbus is a goalie so it kind of gave me a hint a little bit uh, and then uh, I remember they had a, a Quebec scout like Denis Leblanc uh, we knew from the from the junior days in Halifax that the uh, was working for Columbus, and when I saw saw him going on stage, like I kind of that was a good, pretty good clue that uh, they weren't going to pick me. And then when it happened to hear your name, it's uh, it, it happened so quickly, and you're so you try uh, like to see your mom and dad, like and hug them a bit, and uh, you, it it happens pretty quick. And after when you get on the stage, you meet everybody, and then it starts. It's uh, uh, you go around taking pictures and stuff, and it's nonstop, and uh, it's just exciting and fun. It's, uh, and you do that with a big smile on your face. You meet so many people. You, and uh, it's, uh, but at, when you get back to the hotel at the night, that's where I guess it really kicks in, and you're like the draft. Is. I, I was really excited about it. I'm a big, I'm into like food and uh, like wine, like like I told you before. So. Uh, and I, wa I watch a show like uh, every day, like on uh, on uh, Radio Canada, and even in English on the, the Food Network. Uh, it is, and then uh, through some people at the Radio Canada and the La Presse uh, um, uh, paper, like uh, I was able, like to just they, they were able to like get uh, those those people, you know, to know that I, I would love to be on the show. And then uh, 
they contact me and then it happened this week and it was awesome. It's uh, and he's a great guy. You know, sometimes you meet people, you see people on TV, they seem like like really nice guy, but like everything that uh, happens in his house and then uh, I get to meet his wife too and all the crew there. So it was pretty an experience and then uh, a lot of fun with it. Oh yeah, but they asked me a little bit what uh, we were like eating. Like they wanted to do a little bit with the what we're doing with hockey, and I told them, well, I don't want to do chicken and pasta because we eat that every day. So uh, we kind of did a little bit of a, a steakhouse menu with a, a veal chop with a crust, uh, pistachio crust, and then uh, I like a gratin dauphinois, which is like, you know, uh, I'm not really sure in English what it is, but uh, and, but we have to do a whole bunch of stuff during the break too because we're like, he talked a lot, so we had a good time and we had a we had a glass of wine too, and then it was, uh, and I was just great to meet him because, like, like to me, like I watch the guy every day, and then I really appreciate what he does. So it was fun to be part of it.